Hang on. Are we going? Are we going? We're live. Are you going to train along? Sure. Oh, well, I'm going to watch, yeah. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to watch. I wasn't sure because earlier you said you were having problems Whoa. with okay. negative spaces. Exactly. Right? I always have negative spaces. I always have problems with some of the, some of the things that just... That's just one of the many things that I have problems with. Where did you get that shirt? The internet. Hmm. Amazon. We're gonna, we're gonna make it like a disco scene until. Party, party. It party, basically party. is. Party. You guys let us know. We are at Rhonda's at a disco. For sure. I don't think. Party, party. Partay. Partay and the partake. So you guys, while we're waiting for people to get in and it to actually be eight o'clock, welcome. Welcome to Pour With Us Volume 3. Our first one was on oceans. Our second one was swipe. Swipe. And this one is on negative space, which I will do two ways. I'll do with heat gun and then also with swipe. Um, and it's focusing on not letting your design take over your piece so that it stays elegant and restrained and Properly muted, but still exciting. Um, we are in RK3 Designs' studio down here in Seguin, Texas. Seguin. Seguin. And I have probably on Soul Stunt, Clara here. Oh, I thought. As well as man. I have my cameraman Jeffrey, mm -hmm. my AD guy, and a second assistant and Gary. Rhonda is floating around here somewhere, as is um, ultra famous Tool Time Paul. Say hi to Gary. Hi, Gary. <laughs> um, and then also Stacy. She's in the swing. She ain't anywhere right know. now. She's she is like up. done. <laughs> yeah, that's a wrap. She's tired. What? Well, Emma says, I'm not actually going to be following this class, but. I'm still going to watch it. Got my resin and pigment yesterday. I'm going to attempt my first all resin artwork today. Proud of you, Emma. She does some awesome work anyways. Yeah. So, I don't know what time it is, but I went ahead and mixed up my resin. Well, we're, we are at, we're in the middle of nowhere out in Seguin, Texas. So hopefully the buffering will slow down. I won't move. Yeah, it'll be. Stationary filming. I don't know if you want to, if you're zoomed in or. You're no. Good. What time is it? It is. Eight o'clock. Yeah, five minutes and then we go color. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two it's ATD time. Judy or Jude, you don't need to be scared. Jude says she's scared. Don't be scared. Kiss Kiss More. That's a fun name. It's it new. Fun. It's a new name. Um, I did prep my board. It's got a little bit of sparkles on because we were decanting some powders. Uh, but it's fine. I don't care. Uh, I used a flat black spray paint. You can use a flat black anything. Or if you don't want black and you want to do a different color, that's fine as well. Just try to make it flat because resin adheres better to flat surfaces. Um. <laughs> Are you moderating? Yep. She's the police. She is the police. How much resin do you mix? Eight ounces? 
I did mix up eight ounces. The board is a 15 inch round. You will have probably some left over. You should have some left over. Because and... we're we're just being um, silly right now because I can be. Oh, yeah, it's eight o'clock though. Um, there you go. You should have mixing cups, your stir sticks, which I need one more of. Any leftover will go on your coasters that you got in the kit. Well, Emma, you should never take us seriously. Oh, yeah, don't do that. We like to have fun, we like to play, we like to keep it fun and light and fun. Like Jumping. So, light. I went ahead and mixed up my resin. I, I did mix eight ounces. Um, the kit that we sent out for this class is uh, it comes with an eight ounce kit resin from stone coat it's stone coat art coat you'll have a lovely two hour working time it's got no smell mm -hmm. it's got a great consistency it's not too thin it's not too thick um, you got a board you got all the colors so if you are just painting along with us at home and you want to use the colors that we're using but you didn't get the kit that's fine we're using 007 from Color Obsession. Derbler Shivern. We're using Snow White from Color Obsession. Ta -da. Kiss, um, kiss more once to know how much the kit is. This one was 120. It's different every month depending on is it still available? What materials? I don't available. have it available right now, but so it's a limited supply kit for your uh, for your class. Up until the 20th of every month, I have the kit available. Oh, it's Design Paul. You'll know him on YouTube from Paul's Toolbox. Okay, hi. Oh. We're just in, we're just okay. starting. Oh. Do a cameo. Having a great time. Hey. I'm learning. Paul's Paul. Where are you from, buddy? New Orleans. And what's your what's your YouTube channel? Paul's Toolbox. There you go. If you want to learn how to build something, you don't know, ask me. Learn how to build it. I'll help. <laughs> you want to learn how to color it? These are the people. Yes. The best. The best. Um, do you know how to do like live edge bondo stuff? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, film it. Sorry, this isn't part of the class. Um, <laughs> part of the next class maybe. Um, that geode I did out there, I'm gonna uh -huh. do like a rock edge on the outside cool. of it. Yep. So I'm gonna need you to teach me that. I'm gonna do it. Not a problem. Anyway, stay tuned for that. You're good. Thank you. Oh, you're not in the way. Abstract impression says hi, Paul. Oh, hi. Ah, not too awesome. Paul's amazing. Oh, he came up in Y'all must Yay. check out the channel. So the colors I'm, I'm using is also Black Passion from Color Passion. This is what I'm going to use to get the large cells. You recognize him from Stone Coat videos? And Just Resin Dark Turquoise. You could also use Color Obsession Dark Turquoise. It's a great substitute. And for the white, you could also use Just Resin Titanium. Just fine. It looks like we're at uh, Stone Coat. Stone Coat, yeah. Right? So, let's start making some colors. I'm using small cups because this is what I got. And if you ordered the kit, then you, you got the same. Well, I gotta do this video first, sir. Don't lure her away with food yet. I know. You lure me away with food. <laughs> He's alone in the shop now. So, I am using... And you guys, don't be afraid to ask a question. Right. If, if you've seen it, if you, maybe somebody else asked it, but you didn't see the, the, the answer, don't hesitate to ask. And if we can't answer it, somebody uh, should be able to answer it on the uh, live feed. Yep. We got Clara here answering questions as well. So, yep. in your cups, okay. you're gonna, so your oh. cup that you ordered from the kit is probably about this big, it's a three ounce cup, you're gonna probably use half. Always. For the color passion black, go ahead and give that a good stir. Hi from Yucatan. Wow. That's where my dad's from. Now we're out at uh, yeah. Rhonda's yep. shop. I got family in Yucatan. I want to go. Well, welcome from Yucatan, Javier. Mm. Welcome. Kenny is also here. He wants to come say hello. Go say hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> That's all he wants to say. That's it. <laughs> Get back in. <laughs> um, so you're also going to do 
about half of one of our three ounce cups of resin for your dark turquoise. And then maybe um, you can also remember of that amount you're gonna use half for your white, so a quarter. Senior helper says hi to everybody. Hey Lisa. Um, for your powder, your 007. I would tap the lid before you open it because it's going to plume out everywhere. Also, don't mix your gold on your surface because it will get on your surface. Repeat amounts, please. Okay. Let me, I'm going to try to zoom this in for you guys here. You're going to hold it at that angle? Yeah. So, I'll wait. It's Dixie cup. You're going to do about half of that, so an ounce and a half-ish for your black, as well as your dark turquoise. And then you're going to do a little bit less than that for your white, so maybe an ounce. And then for your gold, you need to mix it off of your surface, because if this gold lands on your surface, it will just mess it get it real messy if you got the kit just dump all of it in there every bit of what's in your jar or you could just probably put just some resin in that jar if you wanted to and mix it up real slow because it'll plume up in your face and you should not breathe this in speaking of breathing Paul says hi oh. <laughs> um, if you feel the need to wear PPE, a mask, a respirator, any of that, absolutely do it. I can't teach effectively with one on, but if you feel like you need it, absolutely do it. I can't recommend you do or don't. You have to refer to your healthcare provider for that. But um, in your kit, you got gloves. Definitely wear some gloves. So your gold should be super overloaded. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a second to mix your colors. You wanna make sure everything is mixed in really, really well. If you got our kit, then you have all the paste that I'm using and those mix in flawlessly. And it doesn't take long to mix it in. You guys are ruining my video. You're all fired. Just kidding. Erica, it's my fault. Erica, you ready? For what? Oh, it's been my fault I keep hearing it's your fault, so I'm gonna just blame you. Thank you, Lisa. If I go through something too fast and I need to repeat it, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to just, I'll go back over anything you guys need. So this place, this place, this class is gonna concentrate on negative space and you can manipulate your resin with um, swipes or a torch or a heat gun. If you're using a torch, make sure you have put some fuel into it because it's not going to work without it. Okay. When you get your resin all mixed, we're going to use whatever you have left in your clear resin mixing cup and we're going to put a, a good amount down to grease the pan. I always also leave just some in my cup. How much resin did you mix up? Eight ounces. Eight ounces. Same right. as in the kit. All right. Um, you should probably see how far along everybody is. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
I'm just going to spread this out and then I'll let everyone catch up. People are going along with this. People bought this We do a kit every month. And this is the. Cause, and they're doing. Everybody gets mm -hmm. the exact same thing. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. We send out a kit. And then on the 25th of every month, we paint with everybody. But you don't have to buy the kit to paint with us. Like if you have all the stuff. How big this looks. Like it looks like yeah. a huge. It does. <laughs> Heidi, we're in Seguin, Texas at uh, Rhonda Draculis. I didn't, did I do that right? Dr Rhonda Draculis? Yep. Just say RK3 okay, Designs. Okay, RK3 Designs. I don't think I've ever said her last name out loud. <laughs> For this piece, I'm going to use uh, a heat gun, but you can't use a torch. And I'm also going to use swiping papers, which also came in your kit. While y'all are playing catch up, if you need to catch up, I'm gonna just heat this up a little bit to pop the bubbles. <laughs> what? No, she said, did you say Mesquite, Texas or Maggie, Texas? Seguin, Texas. Seguin. Starts with a Seguin. Yeah, Seguin. we're near Schlitterbahn. Yep. We're like six hours away from Guadalupe. We're just around the corner. This is around, oh yeah, it's up the street, right by the driveway. Okay, good. Signal's much better. Sweet. So you got this. Just do once you have your. Um, Grease the pan down. I don't have it a really thin layer where you have to like work to get it to move. I have a fair amount. It's not a whole eighth inch. It may have been an ounce. May have been an ounce total on here. I still have an ounce left, maybe half an ounce. So the idea with a negative space piece is that you want to keep as much of your background color without any design on it. So you got about two ounces in your color cups, you think? That's about an ounce and a half of the turquoise, ounce and a half of the black, an ounce of white, and the gold is basically just the be a fourth of an ounce. Because the gold is just gonna be an accent, so you don't wanna mix that much of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, once you have everything down, we're gonna start with our black. The black that we're using in the class, if you ordered the kit, is a base tint. It has to be under the other colors to react and give you the cells that a lot of people are looking for with resin. And so we're going to just lay a couple of stripes down. You probably won't even really see it on camera. It's about, the line that I lay down is about the width of my thumb. And you want that down first because you want the other colors to be over it to create all of the reactions that you're looking for. So next I'm going to put down my white and it's important that you don't put too much Some color down. Some folks are still mixing resin. Oh, so I'm gonna hold up. So the idea is to keep it minimal and negative space for this. You want it to have little, little or limited color on the surface because the more color you put down, then the more it's gonna stretch out and go over your background. So we're, we're mixing and putting on here absolute limit, minimal color. And I will, pause for a second to let everyone catch up. I'm so sorry if I was moving too fast. Thank you for letting me know so you guys can catch up. Now's a good time for anybody to ask questions who aren't sure. doing the pouring. Mm -hmm. If anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Also, if you need a bathroom break or to <laughs> grab a drink and you're Debbie all caught says up. she likes your shirt. 
Thank you. Every time someone says that, I have to read it again because I, I forget. I like the mood, twenty-four-seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's subtle. Do the tints we buy from you say they're base tints? So the color passion paste are base tints. She didn't make them to be that way, but they just have that reaction. So. Every one that I've used that is this brand, which is Color Passion, will act as a base tint. You don't have to use them that way. They're just not going to sell that much on top. So try to keep it under. No, 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 no. <laughs> Somebody's asking, what did you get? <laughs> Send off with your kit. I'm sorry. Let me. What came in the kit? So in this kit, came this one only because every kit is different every month this one came with a 15 inch round cradle board it came with the black passion by color passion it came with color obsession snow white it came with 007 from color obsession and it came with dark turquoise from just resin it also came with four stir sticks that are reusable a mixing stir stick when you mix your part A and part B that is reusable. It came with the cups to mix your resin in as well as cups to lift your board off of your uh, surface. It came with swiping paper and four coasters. <clears throat> There's also an option to add on a heat gun, I mean a torch. And so if you chose that option, then it came with a torch as well. Somebody is asking when we get the black back again. Um, it should be, it should be at the house now, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as soon as I get back in the studio, it will be there. Over there. We're here to go say hi. Uh, Stacy is going to come say hello. Everyone's still mixing their resin and pigment, so I just introduced. No. Nope. I just wanted to introduce you because you're awesome. Hey. <laughs> Sean and Marie said I didn't get my coasters. Mm, my bad. I will. I'm having everybody send you a text if they've got a question directly about that kind of stuff. Sure. I am so excited to watch now. you in person and be like right next to you, not have to watch you from a screen. <laughs> it's, di it's different. It's different when you're like right here now. I know, it's <laughs> awesome. I love it. Wow, oh, I'm going to do a geo with you guys. I'm going to have you all lucky. show me how to use Bondo to do a rock edge. My no. husband will uh, absolutely take care of that, right? Bondo, why don't you get in there? Rhonda, go get in there. Come on, Rhonda. Go get in there. Come on, Rhonda. Get in there. So if and you all Clara? want to see a really cool effect, we did, we, did peacock, we, did. we did Peacock yeah. Granite, the three of us today. So True. go on to our page, Artisan Design Concepts. I think my husband tagged you guys both. Maybe? It's a little, no, I couldn't tag. Uh, it's a little pixelated at first, but it gets better. It gets better. It it gets better. better. So go yeah. check it out. It was really fun. Really, really it fun. Was, was oh, yeah. awesome. guys, so I just want to say real quick, I'm so honored to have these girls here. Um, I love my. We do our classes once a month, and I love, I love what I do. But this is a special honor. No, you two superstars, <laughs> superstars. <laughs> here, so we so. love you too. Thanks for all right. So guys, these girls have been working really, really hard today. That's why we're all kind of dragging a little bit our on the tail side. Our voice slow. <laughs> we're gonna have to drag we're really over tired. there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We had 30 people in here today, so oh, we're right. a little. Your voice is going. Oh, man. Losing my voice. Oh, so. stop talking then. All right, so I'm going to go enjoy your cerveza. Uh -huh. Knock it out. And we're going to watch over here. <laughs> All right, then. Um, as soon as Jeff comes back over here and adjusts the camera, I will mm -hmm. continue on with the class. I hope everyone's caught up. If not, let me know. Also, for these classes, since they are, I can't see what you're doing, which, by the way, I do Skype classes if you ever want a one-on-one -on -one class. Um, since I can't see what you're doing, it's always nice to have a friend with you that can be like, Typing obviously, I can't go. type, so I would say, hey, friend. Hey, friend. So, just we're for future. We're having <clears throat> inquiries about where you got your shirt. I guess I should probably make one. Amazon. 
This came from Amazon. I don't have it linked in our affiliate link down below. Link, link, link. Link. But I will. I'll add that. I should just give Claire our login so you can be like, I'll add it. Heck, damn it. <laughs> Ooh, so much power. Right? Power. Okay. So as soon as we get our camera situated, I will move on with the next one. As you can see, I put down a thumb of black, but it's now grown to two thumbs because resin self levels and as it does it spreads out a bit and that's okay for the black though because it's black and the background black so it's whatever as long as you can still see where your line is sure exactly so next color i'm going to put down is the white because i want the dark turquoise since it is so dark to mix and mingle with it so it's brighter and it stands out from the black background when you add color, always start your drizzle off of the surface because if you start on the surface, you'll get that teardrop look, that the blob, blob of color. The blob. The blurb. Gives you a nice clean line. You just want to go right through it. I'm probably going to do two lines. Rebecca, we can make you a jacket with the lips on it. No problem. Yes, yeah, sure can. Hey, JJ. What's up, JJ? Whenever I do negative space, I try to give some kind of analogy. And so the analogy I like to use is when you go to a buffet and you don't want to eat a lot, maybe you're on a diet, you need to get a smaller plate so that you put less stuff on it. So for this, I use smaller cups because I want to use less of the pigment. I put less resin in them, less pigment, because I, I don't want this to be overrun with color. I want it to keep the negative space. You want to have restraint. That's a real good way of doing it. So next one I'm going to pull through is the dark turquoise. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to start off the piece and run a couple lines through it. And for the gold, I don't... Maybe I'll run one line. No, I'll do two lines. I'll do two lines, but they'll be thinner lines. You don't want to add a lot of gold right now because it will absolutely take over. It will eat up your entire design. Just do trust like me. like how it mingles with the color. Yes, I, I like the mingle, but I, I don't want it to just explode. It can take over, definitely. And it doesn't take a whole lot for it to take over. You can put just a little bit into like a dirty pour or something. Well, think of it as real gold. Well, it goes a long way. I'll get gaudy. That's I'll true. get gaudy. <laughs> okay, so let's do a couple this of... This the Vegas port. <laughs> we're right. We'll do real quick lines. The quicker you go, the thinner your line will be, obviously, because it's got to drip off, right? <sighs> and then the next is... What was that question? What people hmm? consider the hard part. She was talking about using small cups. So I'm not gonna pop and bop. Chop and bop a leg. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a couple more minutes and then we're gonna do the thing. You can use a torch, but it's harder to control with a torch. It's probably the hardest to control with a torch. You use a heat gun. Just make sure you don't have your heat all the way up if you're gonna use a heat gun. Do like halfway. I'm gonna use swiping paper because I can control that best. And we did swipe last week. Nope, last month. So if you were a part of that class, you should already have your swipeness ready. Swipeness. Swipeness, it's official. It's official. It's a technical term. So I'm gonna use half sheets because I don't want to just pull all the color through. I want to be able to control just this amount. If you weren't part of our swipe class, I will review some quick tips about this. You don't want to put your swipe paper in vertically because you're just going to scrape. You want to lay it down flat and make sure your ends are rolled up because if, you, if I were to try to do it this way, it's just going to grab and drag and I don't want that. When I lay this down, I'm gonna take about a pinky width of resin. I want it to soak up on this edge. And I'm gonna pull it through, and at the end, I'm gonna turn it like a quarter turn. 
and I'm gonna let the corner be the last thing touching. Just like during this wipe class. All right, is everyone ready or should I slow down? No, let's find out. But they might have sticky palms. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell people to have a friend with them so you can be like, friend, tell her to slow down. And sometimes people tell me to slow down. Actually, people have already told me to slow down. So also, something to note, you don't want to put your swiping paper in the black area. That needs to be under the color. So aim for the turquoise or the gold or the white. That needs to be on top. So whatever color you lay your swiping paper in is gonna be your top color. Pick any color other than your base. And in this piece, it's gonna be black as your base. So we're gonna lay it down and let about a pinky's width of epoxy soak into the swiping paper. And you're gonna move real slow and pull towards you, not away from you, cause you'll have more control that way. And you can add some movement or you can pull straight, but at some point, start to turn it and slowly pick up till only a corner is left in there. That gold is almost taking over and I put ultra looks minimal. so good though. I love when it interacts with like dark turquoise, That's for beautiful. example. That is beautiful. Love it. Holocaust. See how the gold I is peekabooing through? <laughs> After I hit it with heat, it'll actually, like, more of it'll lift. It's uh -huh. just what this particular gold does. I'm definitely doing it. And you can see there's already cells popping up yeah. in this area. After I hit it it's with beautiful. heat, yeah. it more of it will start because when you hit it with heat, it'll disperse. That's crazy. Trying to move slow. Rebecca, today's the day to get swiped down. It's a question pop up. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than mine. All right. Rebecca, take a uh, gentle touch. Go slow. You don't, you're not adding any pressure. You're just letting the resin keep the contact because it's it's wet so it's going to hold on to it <clears throat> all right so let's do the next one again i'm not pushing down at all i'm just taking my time pulling through and then about halfway through i'm going to start turning and start picking up the front all the way down to the corner so that it has this tail because if I just pulled it and lifted, it's going to have a blunt stop. And that's, for me, not attractive. If you like it, roll with it. This is art. Don't stress about it. Whatever you like, it that's what it should be. For so me, if you start getting breaks in it, it means you're pulling too fast. Sorry. Yeah, if it's skipping, you're going too fast or your resin's too cold. If you're, it's cold in your space, like under, let's say, 70 degrees then you're gonna have to add a little bit of heat to get it to move more easily. If it's not under 70 degrees and you're still getting skipping, you need to slow down. If you think about it, you you want it to stay in contact with the resin. And if you move fast, it's not gonna grab. You want it to pick up and redistribute the resin as you move. So just take your time, pull slow. We're not in a hurry. Now we're going to the next one. I always pull towards me. If you get yourself in a situation where you pull away from you, just make sure you drop your swiping paper at the end instead of pulling it back through your piece. Because it's likely to, if you pull this way and you try to bring your paper back through, you're risking dripping through your artwork. So if you swipe away from you, just drop it. So Evelyn's asking if she can use the swiping paper again. Uh, you can, but you're gonna risk transferring 
everything that you have on it to your next swipe. And so for me, I don't wanna do that for this piece, but if you look at your swiping paper and you're good with whatever color is on there, then you can use it again. But keep in mind, that's gonna be the top color. If it's black, then you're not gonna get any of the cells in the design and it's gonna cover up any of the other colors. So just be mindful of that if you wanna to try to use it again. I'm not telling you not to, I'm just telling you it may not do what you think it's gonna do. So if I tried to swipe this one again, it could work, but there's a lot of black in there, and so I'm not gonna get any effects if I try to use it twice. Great question. So I like it all. I just have this break right here where I started a little bit high. So I'm gonna pull this through just this corner, just like we were doing before. Now that we did this side, I'm gonna turn it around so that we can do the other side. If you like it just this way, leave it. This is a class on restraint. You wanna have that break in color, all the negative space. You don't wanna eat it up with all the designs. This is supposed to be simplistic and elegant. So for this, if you have this size board, I did four and a half swipes. So Resonar by Robin said, Dammy, you should be an art teacher. You explain things perfectly. Thank you, I am. That's what I'm doing today <laughs> for this. But in person, I don't know. So I'm gonna add another line of the teal and another line of the white because I swiped through most of what I had to the other side. This is gonna be a quick line. You don't wanna add too much. Again, you want it to be negative space. You wanna have that limit of color. So it looks like we got a first swipe out of Susan and Evelyn for the first time. How did it turn out, ladies? Well, we got little smiley face with hearts in the eyes, so I think it turned I'm out gonna pretty good. I'm going to call that a success then. Yep. Okay. So now let's get our next swiping paper. Okay. You got to do the sound effect. Tracy just put in 19.99. What? B. I need a tip sound. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Surround sound. It's the club sound. Oh. It still works. You can want one instead of bam bam. It's just a little different. Yeah, it's just a little extra flavor. I kind of like it, but not really. It's exactly the same, but completely different. All right. So when I do the other side of these, it's important to note that you don't want to end up with like a center part of hair unless that is your jam. You can have a center part all you want to. No judgment on center parts. I don't. For me and my artwork, I don't want it to be perfectly this and then perfectly that way. I, unless you're doing a feather, which is a great technique to do a feather. I don't want that, so I'm going to try to pick up, see where this gold is curling in right here? I'm going to try to pick up some of that and pull it this way towards me so that it continues the design into the second side instead of a, an exact part of the water, so to speak. So you're gonna make sure your ends aren't curled down. Let it soak up, take your time pulling. And this time you're gonna pick up your right corner instead of the left corner like you did on the other side because we're going this way. You want it to all have the same continuous flow and movement. So Teresa Wilson has put in his $2 also. Thank you so much. Where's my buzzer person? I said sorry, folks. Nailed Our it. buzzer is a little faulty right now. <laughs> I know. This short circuiting. Our buzzers have tacos in their mouths, so. All right. So let's pick up the next one. Make sure your edges are curled up. Horizontal, not vertical. Let it pick up, take your time, give it a little wiggle. Your right corner is gonna be the last thing touching. The 
The gold is still taking over. You gotta tell it who's boss. Come on. See, there's no talking it down once it's in there. No one? No, that's what she said? Oh, oh yeah, we got it. We got one. Said. We got one from JJ here. And Thank you, JJ. And Mattify. Hey, Mattify, yes. I have your coaster. I didn't forget. All right. Moving on. Again, take your time. This should be fun. Don't stress out about it. Art should be enjoyable. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. It should just, but it should be fun every time. It's a class. That's where we learn the things. Time to make the mistakes and figure it out. Yep. So now that I have all of my color swiped through, I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of heat to pop any bubbles I may have folded in through the swipe technique. Now, this side seems to be brighter than this side. So if you're finding yours is looking like that and you want to adjust something, you can do what I call a dip swipe. So I'm going to add just some color onto my swiping paper, just a little bit. Uh, I hope you guys can see. Let me just do it over here because I don't want to make a mess. So I added just a little bit of color to it. And I'm going to swipe through. I'm going to swipe through half of this one again. Because this side is lighter than this side. So just set it down and let it soak up a little bit. And then swipe it out the same way you did before. But since it's this side and we're going this way, you want the left side to be down. Unless you were on that side, then you want the other side to be down. It's a little bit too much of a difference in color. So I'm gonna swipe through one more time by picking up that dark turquoise. It's so beautiful, so subtle right here. And the black with thi this black, like it's a different contrast. Like yeah. it looks so nice. Sorry for all that movement, you guys. This looks so fun because it brought some of the black through and that dark turquoise. So it's all gonna sell because I have that color passion black under everything else. Except for through here, there's no cells because I picked up black on the top. So you're not gonna see as many cells right there. Put that camera on me. Oh, Rhonda said. Okay. So, I just wanna let everybody know I tip. Oh! oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I just want to say thank awesome. you for all the help that you gave me today. I love you. I okay? didn't do anything. You did. I made a mess for you. You did. <laughs> I want my $20 back. I have to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to the Thank you, Rhonda. Bam, 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 bam. Look at this part. This Okay, this is probably my favorite part. It's right, right here. Judy's in the house. Oh Judy. Do you guys like the amount of light that's in it? Should I add some more of it or are y'all good with a darker looking piece? Anyone answer? I like the turquoise. I love that. That's, I, like the I love the how I would love the to gold and the that. white, like, mm -hmm. man. That's, that's, this is the epitome of negative, negative space, space and control and restraint. restraint. And yeah. You, you, you love it, you're good. Nailed it. Done. Nailed it. Okay. Nailed it. Now you can stop there, and that's me. <laughs> then you should. That's a Ron Rhonda should have all the t-shirts. Oh, I've got the wrong angle. I'm looking over there. Gonna, gonna... <laughs> I can come look closer. Don't fall down. This is my favorite part right here. Oh my gosh, bubbles. Um, okay, I, I'm I'm changing my book. Yeah, like that. Okay, stop, Rhonda. Walk away. Huh? Well, you got a new one. Like that. 
Now you should have some resin left over. I have all of the resin left over. Um, I don't have any coasters with me, but you at home should do some coasters. <laughs> oh, do you have some coasters? Great. Okay. Get in there, Paul. I gotta get there. They cost twenty dollars. Oh, yeah. Space. That's beautiful. I just wanted pictures of it. Oh, we have a first-time user of resin, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Uh oh, Sharon, you're gonna be hooked now. Sorry. Okay. Breaking the bad news to you. Only two? Yeah. A long time ago. Fine. That's great. I feel I'll only have a couple of those. Jennifer, left. yes, it will react the same way. Uh, Jennifer is asking, uh, she has some Stone Code Base Black. Yeah. So same. will that react the same as the color Passion? So, uh -huh. yep. I know that one. I don't have any scrapers. Use it. Wood. So, uh, Rhonda saved me and I have some coasters. So, we're going to do a couple of coasties. Somebody's asking for a close up. Okay. Close up. So, Jeff's going to be the close that, upper. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, I don't care about that. Okay. Our videographer's going to do that. Mm. So the idea for negative space is simplicity and elegance, and you want to really be able to control where the eye moves across the, your surface. So you want everything to flow in the same direction. Gorgeous. Looks like a meteor going through space. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so much better coming this way through that light. Mm. Absolutely stunning. Like you can barely see looks it. Like it does look like a mermaid tail. Yeah. I would be this mermaid. Guys, I've been looking at what you've been looking at, and only recently they'll walk over there, and it is like wow in person. Wowzers. Wowzies. So I'm gonna set that over there and do a couple of coasters. So these are our clear acrylic coasters that I don't have in stock right now. But the great thing about them is that you peel one side off and you pour on this side and the back you leave on. And then after it's set up, you peel the back off and there's zero cleanup. I don't care if you leave it lifted on stilts or throw it at your friend. It's going to be an easy cleanup 100% of the time. I don't Looks have like a magical right fish tail, and Judy says beautimus. Thanks, Judy. These are particularly awesome if you're using transparents. Um, the dark turquoise is a little translucent, but um, not completely. So I'm going to use the clear that I have left as the base. Uh, Emma is asking how long before they set enough to use. So you don't want to really use coasters with resin on them for maybe seven days. They're not full cure till 30 days, but you could ship them after seven days. I like to do a test by putting my nail in a corner and if it leaves an indentation, I'm not shipping it until it doesn't because if you ship it while it's still accepting like um, textures then whatever you wrap it in to ship it it's going to end up wherever it's going with that texture in it um robin's asking have you ever done a negative space without using the base that yeah. makes the holes in it no um the holes are because of the base tints. Now you could do it with a top selling pigment, like just using the Color Obsession white or um, titanium from Just Resin or angel white from La Res. But they're not gonna be as easy to get. You're gonna have to do a lot more heat manipulation to do that. 
it's not impossible. It's just a little bit more difficult and time consuming. I'm not going to go ahead and put gold on this yet. I'm going to use my torch to manipulate it. Nope, this is a heat gun. It's an electric heat <laughs> Right? I'm just going to use, as soon as it starts moving, back up so that it doesn't, um, you don't want to scorch your resin, which is super easy to do. How fun. Evelyn's saying this was so fun. Thank you. My pleasure, Evelyn. Thanks for joining us. Again, I do this on the 25th of every month. We have a kit on our website, artistildeath.com. It's a different class every month, and this coming 25th will be a geode. I know so many people want to learn how to do geodes. My kit will include everything that you need except for PPE and a heat source, but you can do an add-on for a torch if you would like. This is so fun. Just bring you guys a little closer for this. I'm going to try to move slow enough. So wherever you're seeing that brown right here, that's going to end up being clear. So you'll see straight through everything that's brown right there. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, but you weren't here, so... Wow. Isn't that fun? It's not even the same color on the. So people are already asking about the cost for the second ge the kit. I'm assuming the geo. It's kit. live. The kit is live. The kit's live? Yeah. Okay. The geode kit? Yeah, for next month. It's going to be a geode. Man, that's crazy. Like, that's blue. And that's. Mm -hmm. So for next month, we are doing a geode. If you have requests for a class that you want to do, just shoot me an email, shoot me a text, get in touch with me however you want to, and let me know what you guys want to learn. We'll do demos on demand. Demos on demand. On demand. Oh, D. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to do, we're here to teach you guys. We're happy to help. Um, Claire is going to add a link for next month's kit, which Done. will be a geode. And I hope you guys join us for that as well. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. I hope you have a piece that you love. If you didn't get something from the kit, that's my bad. Uh, just shoot me a text or a text because I'm so backed up on emails. It's going to be forever. And I'll send you those whatever missing items. Just shoot me a text. There's an interesting question here. Um, you can only get cells with two colors, right? In other words... I won't be able to swipe clear over the base tent and get cells, correct? I think there's actually two questions there. Let I've me get like three colors in cells. Do you have one more something? One more what? Possibly four. Let me see. Wait, am I looking that <coughs> one? I thought those other ones were used over. So I'll do that demo. Demo on demand starting early. So, I've been asked that question before, and I keep thinking about doing a um, this, but I keep forgetting. So let's just do it right now. The thing about putting clear over a base tent is you may not it if it does sell you're still going to be looking through a clear to a black in this case the base tent is black so I don't know that you'll be able to see it if it does work that way but we'll just try it out right now just just to see have you ever got his first swipe Jeez. successfully done today yay so he's happy um Senior Helper says, Rhonda, you have a really cool place. Reminds me of Stone Cone Countertops. Oh, thank you. How sweet. Who said that? Uh, Lisa Fines. Lisa Fines. She's one of our moderators. Thank you. So let's You're put welcome some, anytime. Some clear down. Let's put some clear down and we'll do a swipe and see what happens. So this is a little bit far back, but I'll, we'll zoom in. Here, I'll help it. I'll help it. 
See, as you can see right now, I know I put the clear through the middle. I can see a slight difference in color, slight. But when I swipe over it, you're you're not gonna really see if it does sell, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. So I don't know if it's selling or not because when you swipe, you're thinning out the color that you're pulling over. So it would be near impossible to tell if it did without having any other color in it. So unfortunately that's just the way it is. Whereas if you pulled a color over it, it's almost instantaneous that you'll see some something happening. So Mattify is saying to sell with clear. You put clear down first, then base tint, then swipe clear over. You're still not gonna see it. Like I swipe clear over this. And I just I, read in the stuff. Sure. <laughs> and I would love to see it, uh, Mattify. I'd love to see what you're I'd love to see it. Um, I couldn't see the clear, whether it was clear, then base, then clear. I just, it's clear, you know? So, I'm sure. I'm sure it would look cool. That looks so nice. That's some cool in there. Mm. Do you wanna? Mm. Okay, Lucille. Look at that. Oh. Just a hint. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you guys had a good time. I had a blast. Thank you guys for joining us. Again, shoot me a text with any requests that you have. I hope you join us for our next class, which will be an elegant white geode. Also, Rhonda. She looks like this. And, um, yeah, post pictures of the class that you did, whatever you created. I would love to see it. If you need help to know if something went wrong, just circle it and ask me, what is this, why is this, and how can I fix it? I'm happy to share any information I have. I will share with you guys. You know we don't keep secrets on the channel. Um, and be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. Till next time. Hold on. <gasps> Wait a minute. Everybody's going to join in. Oh, yeah. We got this. So, whenever, no, 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 no. No. whenever we say bye on the channel, then we all jump in and say, I said bye. So what? Everybody says, I said bye. <gasps> we got bubbles again. We got bubbles. Yep. So, let's have oh. this. <laughs> I said bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a true jump right there. So, until <laughs> next time, you guys. Bye. I said bye. bye. <laughs> Love it. So I'm gonna